Tata Motors has launched the much awaited 2021 dark editions of the Altros, Nexon, Nexon EV and the Harrier. The Tata dark editions are priced from 8,71,000 rupees going all the way up to 18,4,000 rupees. All prices are ex showroom Delhi. While the Harrier dark edition has been around for a while, the Altros, Nexon and the Nexon EV get the all black treatment for the first time. All cars get a black paint scheme with a dark emblem on the front fender. They also get gloss back finish on the dashboard with leathered seats and tri arrow perforations. The front seats also get the dark name embroidered on the headrest. The dark editions are available on the top spec variants of each of the cars in both petrol and diesel engine options. There are no mechanical or feature changes to the vehicles either. Tata Motors has also added a puncher repair kit as a standard accessory across its range. It's an exclusive from Car and Bike. Classic Legends will increase prices of its Java motorcycles from 8th of July 2021. According to sources, the price hike will be in the range of 7,200 rupees to 8,700 rupees, depending on the model and the variant. The price hike has been attributed to the increase in input costs and the rising price of raw materials. In order to offset the higher price on its motorcycles, Java is offering a helmet with the purchase of every bike. Java Motorcycles currently retails three models in India, the Java, Java 42 and the Perak. Citroen India is continuing with its plan to bring one new SUV to the country every year and will bring the C3 compact SUV to the country in 2022. The automaker confirmed the development in a recent interaction with the media and also revealed that the SUV will be locally built at the automaker's facility in Tamil Nadu. The Citroen C3 will be based on the highly localized common modular platform. It will draw power from a small capacity turbocharged petrol engine. The SUV's development will also see inputs coming from Jeep India. Both brands come under the parent company Stellantis. The new C3 will compete against the Kia Seltos, Hyundai Creta, Skoda Kushak and the upcoming Volkswagen Tygoon in the segment. The state-owned oil marketing companies yet again have increased domestic fuel prices. Petrol and diesel prices have been hiked by up to 39 paise and 23 paise respectively. With new prices coming into effect, petrol has breached the 100 rupee mark, retailing at 100 rupees and 21 paise per liter in Delhi and 100 rupees and 23 paise per liter in Kolkata. In the national capital, diesel has become dearer by 17 paise at 89 rupees and 53 paise per liter. Customers in Kolkata will now pay 92 rupees and 50 paise per liter for diesel. In Mumbai, Petrol has breached the 106 rupee mark, while diesel has touched a new high of 97 rupees and 9 paise per litre. As for Chennai, petrol jumped to 101 rupees and 6 paise per litre, while diesel has become dearer by 15 paise at 94 rupees and 6 paise per litre. We simply love, love, love hearing from you. So your comments and feedback are important. Subscribe to our channel, react to this video, and of course, watch our other videos too.